Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys Twister OS version 1.8. So this is the newest version of Twister OS. It was just released last night. I'm pretty sure it was last night or it was this morning. I can't remember. But I had version 1.7 and I just applied the patch. But if um, you guys can just download straight 1.8 and flash it and you'll have this already installed. So I'm going to go over the features of this operating system. And then I'm going to, I'll show some apps and like, I'll just, it's just like a test video. So you guys can see if you like it and if you don't. Personally, this is one of the best operating systems for the Pi. Uh, I'm not lying. I mean, definitely it's probably... If it's not the best, it's the second best. I mean, definitely. So this is based on 32-bit Raspberry Pi OS. Um, and they've skinned it. And they've added a lot of features to it. And also, they've done a great job. Thanks to Pi Labs, Greyduck, and um, Pitseb for all of their hard work on this. So this is the default Twister OS theme. And this is the theme that when you first boot it up, you'll see this theme. So, um, but I will be showing you how you can switch the themes and see different th themes. So this is what the desktop looks like at the beginning. And you can go to menu. I'll show the app. So we have file manager, accessories. We have Belena Etcher already installed. We have PyKiss, which is amazing. And then we have development, we have a few apps there, education, we have games. So this operating system has a thing called Box86, and Box86 is a Linux x86 emulator. So you can play Linux PC games on here with Box86. And it's a work in progress, but they're working on Wine, which can run Windows programs, and they've in including it with Box86. So it's still not... You can't run all of your games or apps that you want to run, but it's it's a working progress, and they're doing a um lots of hard work and stuff. So we have some games pre-installed here. We do have RetroPy to play emulators, Ski Free, which is a Windows 95 game, which is running with Wine. We have Steam, which is they don't really support it anymore, and you can't play many games, so it's not recommended. Then we have Wine Desktop. So if I open up Wine Desktop, this will open up like a wine desktop looky thing like when it kind of looks like windows also it looks like there's an update because I did a um I just did a fresh install and I haven't touched anything so this is like a new install so you'll see what it's gonna be like so it, it wants you to install something so I'll just click install and I'll just wait for that to install. Okay, so the wine thing finished installing. So if I can make this full screen. And this is like a Windowsy desktop thing. Um, it kind of froze there, but that's fine. So we have desktop, my computers, documents. So when you install a Windows app, you can install it through this. Or I'll show another way to do that. So it kind of froze. So I'm just going to close that up. And we'll go over the other features. So on the desktop, we have a trash icon, which looks cool. Chromium. Oh, this is Chromium Media Edition. So with this, you can watch your favorite Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus apps. My Android, if you have an Android phone, you can plug it into your Raspberry Pi. You need to have USB debugging enabled. And then you'll have your um, phone screen on your Raspberry Pi's display. Then we have RetroPie, which you can play some emulators and stuff. We have Steam, which I talked about. It's not really recommended. Then we have Commander Pie, which you can um, overclock your Pie and do stuff like that. So if I go to About Update, it's not letting me click on that stuff. I don't know what's the problem, or maybe it's just loading. So, and then what we also have, we have a README here. So definitely always read this README. Um, it, it shows you what version you're on and what else you have and stuff. So it gives you a lot of details about this operating system, more than I can tell you guys. So definitely read that. 
So is Commander Pi? It's not responding for some reason. I don't know why. I'll just have to do a reboot to get that off. And then another cool feature I was going to show is the theme twister. So I click on this and it looks really cool now. So you click next and it gives you all of their themes on here. So I think I'll do a review of all of these themes. They won't be so long, but just so you guys can see how they look and if you like them or not. So we have Raspberry 95, which is a Raspberry Pi OS 95 look. Raspbian XP, which is a X Windows XP look. Nighthawk Windows 10, but black. And Raspbian X is Windows 10, but it's a light version. iRaspbian is just normal Mac OS. And iRaspbian Dark is Mac OS Dark. And we have Raspbian 7, which was just added in this update. And that's a Windows 7 look, which a lot of people want. That's why they've added it. So I'm changing to Raspbian 95 now, and and to change it, you have to do a restart. So I'll do a restart, and you'll see what the Windows 95 look looks like. So here we are. I booted it up, and now this looks pretty much like a Windows 95. And so the Chromium and stuff, he, they've added the Explorer logo, which um, gives it a nice touch, and the font and stuff is pretty good the um cursor is right so we have the start and yeah it's pretty cool how much they've got it oh we also have cody in here so with cody you can watch um it's like a media center you can install add-ons and stuff too where you can watch different things and this discord is a web app it's not the real app but it's just like a web app but it works well graphics we have photo gimp we have I mean, this is all, all the same apps and files are going to be on every, um, every desktop look. It's just a different desktop look. So if you get bored of one, you can always switch. So this is basically what the 95 look, um, looks like. So now let's switch to the next one. Let's go next. And let's show the XP look now. So all you do is you click on it. Click on the little thing right there, and it says twisting theme to Raspbian XP. And it says it's going to restart, so you hit enter, and it restarts into the new look. Okay, so now we have the Windows XP look, which they call Raspbian XP. And personally, this looks, I like the look of this more than I like the 95 look. So, we have our Trash, Steam, Chromium Media Edition, I mean, we have all of the th same things, and then we have the start menu here, and the thing looks really like Windows XP. I mean, they've done an amazing job, so we go to all. I mean, and then we, we have the shutdown, logout, switch user, lock screen, and all settings button, and then we have here. This is what the file looks like in it. I mean, Windows XP looks just like this. And, yeah, so this is what the file app looks like. And, so, let's go to the next theme. So, next. And this time, it's Nighthawk. So, this is going to give us a Windows 10 dark look. And here's the Windows 10 look. And, man, this looks awesome. So we have our little Windows icon here, which isn't the real Windows icon. And we have all the apps and stuff. So, I mean, this one definitely looks very nice and, like, new. So what you can also do, I think you should be able to make this thing longer, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. So I might be wrong there. And then our file manager, it looks cool. You can just switch it up like that make it big yeah and then these that look like word excel and mail outlook they're actually not those apps they're just LibreOffice and the normal mail app that comes on raspberry pi os but they've just skinned it to look like that which is a nice touch and looks cool and the terminal right here 
they made it look like the CMD control thing on Windows. But it's it's a nice touch, definitely. Yeah, and the Twister OS background is pretty cool. I mean, the background picture I really like. Time for the next theme. So this black on this one that looks nice. Now we're now we'll just do the normal Raspbian X that isn't white. I mean that isn't black. It is white. Okay, so uh, I rebooted, and basically between these two, there's not a huge difference. Like the even the Windows thing, it's just like white here instead of totally black and then what we also have is the file explorer um is white instead of dark so if you're into the white look um this this one should be for you definitely and it looks cool like box 86 just go into it and then what they've also did is this is the add and remove software but they've gave it given them the cool icon here which looks really nice and you can go from here and you can install different applications without the terminal and then we have this Cortana logo here and this is actually catfish so you can search for files and some apps through here but it, they've made it look like Cortana which is kinda funny but it's cool so let's change the theme and this time oh iRasbian and macOS is one of my favorite looks so I definitely am into this one. Okay, so I got to the iRasbian look, and man, this looks amazing. So we have our, we have the dock at the bottom, and we have the file manager, which definitely looks amazing. So, patch. Yeah, and then we have what they, um, it's actually supposed to look like Launchpad, but it's called Lightpad. That's just the app name, and it does do a good job of looking like um, Launchpad on Mac OS. So you can like just go through the apps and you can search them on here. So that's pretty cool, and you can click Escape to exit. And then we have Chrome, Chromium, but they made it look like Chrome, and we have Contacts, Calendar, Maps. Um, Image Viewer, Terminal, GIMP, Calculator, and we have Settings. So the icons and stuff all look definitely right. And you can also click on this logo right here. And you can go through these different apps and see them from here if you don't want to go to this launch pad. So another cool thing is you used to have to download the patches from their website and then do it. But now they've added an app. So you just run this app and it gets the latest patch files. I don't need to do that. I'm already on the latest version. But So with the app, you can automatically update your system and it does, does all the work for you. You don't have to do anything. So then we have the little logos here. Ethernet, Bluetooth, On Demand, Pi. Yeah. So... That's what this iRasbian look looks like. Now let's take a look at the dark one. Personally, I'm a big fan of dark, so I'm thinking the iRasbian dark might be better for me. Yeah, so this is the iRasbian dark look, and it's looking pretty awesome, man. So we have our apps, and then the file manager, which is dark. So this is looking... Like, I like the dark one more than the light, but that's just my personal preference. You don't have to do, you don't have to like the same things that I do, obviously. And then this hard disk, for some reason, is down, so I don't know why it's like that. And then we have our README, Commander Pi, all of that stuff is already here. Yeah, so I don't, and then we, the settings app looks pretty cool in here, too. It looks like Mac OS. See, Raspberry Pi configuration accessibility we have all our stuff here and it's xfce so that's why there's that terminal thing and so let's go to the next theme now but i like this one more than the white oh so let's get to our last one and this is raspbian 7 which is the new one that they just added yesterday so let's see how okay so this is raspbian 7 and the little background thing looks cool they've like made a windows 7 logo ish 
Raspberry Pi logo for the background, which is cool. And so we have our Windows 7 thing here, and they've done a pretty good job. It looks just like Windows 7. Then we have our File Explorer. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, definitely Windows 70, and our like icons on the side. These are also Windows 7 has exactly those kind of icons. And then we have Word and Excel like Windows 10, but they made them look like the older version, which is a cool little feature too. And then we have our terminal. Yeah, so this is cool. So I wanted to show one thing of Wine running. So if you, uh, 7-Zip is a Windows program that you can extract zip, zip files. So I was going to test that out with Wine and see if it works. And I'll show you how you can do it. So when you automatically open up Chromium, it goes to this Twister OS website. So this is where you can download their image and stuff. So you just download it and you'll be good. So to do that, let's I'm gonna type 7-zip to find the installer. And you want 32-bit Windows app. You can't run 64-bit. So I go here and I want 32-bit x86, so I download that, and it's done. So I can close up Chromium, go to my File Explorer. I'll just make that that size, and go go over to Downloads, 7-zip.exe. So I'm gonna just actually open Terminal here. Then what I'm gonna type is Wine. 7z 19 1900 oops 1900 dot xa and i'm going to hit enter and it's going to try to emulate it and so let's hope it works and you can do games like this too not only apps it's mostly games that work better so definitely try out windows games if you have and pi labs have Ton tested tons of games on their channel so check out their channel for that so it looks like the setup is here so click install it says install so close that up so it should be installed so if I go here let's search for 7 7 zip like that doesn't show up so if I go to wine desktop It should show up in Wine Desktop as an install XA file that we can use. So from here, I'm going to go to my computer, C, uh, Program Files, 7-Zip, and I go to 7-Zip XA. So, I don't know why that didn't launch. In my other testings, it did launch. But I, I've never tested on version 1.8. I've only tested on version 1.7. I mean, it's not a huge big deal. It probably does work. I just um, did something wrong. But that's the main idea of how you can run Wine and do stuff like that. So, this is all in this video. If you want to see more stuff running on Twister OS, please tell me down in the comments. And I want to give a huge thanks to PyLabs um, and Grayduck and Pitseb for all of their work on this and making this operating system for making such a great operating system. Yeah. So huge thanks to them. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe.